Now to two Hollywood icons, Jane Fonda, Lily Tomlin, saying goodbye to their hit show, Grace and Frankie, after seven great seasons. Chris Conley sat down with a dynamic duo. Good morning, Chris. Hey, good morning, Robin. Yeah, Grace and Frankie drawing to a close gives these two exceptional and acclaimed actresses a chance to look back in gratitude for the success of this groundbreaking series and for an enduring friendship that has sustained them both. How much of the relationship that we see between the two of you on screen has to do with your friendship in real life? Well, I mean, we got very close. She cracks me up all the time, and um, she's easily crashable. <laughs> <laughs> Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda, acclaimed actresses, now bidding a fond farewell to Grace and Frankie. Congratulations on the conclusion of Grace and Frankie. You're making a little face when I say that. How well, does that it was, feel? Well, it's just sort of, it's also bittersweet, a little sadness. Just out of the blue, a couple of days ago, Lily said, I miss Grace and Frankie, and I, I knew what she meant. It was a crazy ride. With its octogenarian legends in perfect sync, Grace and Frankie is ending a seventh season Netflix run with 12 episodes that are among its funniest and most poignant. With a cameo from their beloved nine to five friend, Dolly Parton. I have Dolly there at that. Isn't that amazing? And the way that she's there, we can't say it, but oh my God. But what was it like to have her join the two of you once again? It seemed, oh God, we've been waiting. We've been standing here by the bus stop for ages, waiting for you to show up. <laughs> and uh, now we can really go home. The series tackling such aging issues as memory loss, the fear of dying. The reality is one of us is gonna lose the other. Unless we do a Thelma and Louise thing which I'm open to. And trying to deal with our impossible children. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you understand that I'm searching for something? You can't even find your glasses when they're on top of your head. Grace's look back at past relationships hitting close to home for Jane Fonda. Well, like Grace, I always had a problem of, who do you want me to be? You want me to like golf? I'll learn golf. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> I've learned at almost 85 to have boundaries, but Grace is like that. You know, please the guy at the cost of your own authenticity. I've wasted too much time catering to the men in my life. I also like martinis, like Grace does. <laughs> Saul and I are in love. As wives dumped when husbands Martin Sheen and Sam Waterston fall in love. We're going to be fine. Grace and Frankie's initial antipathy transformed into friendship. You're my best friend. I need you. It represents for women and also for people of a certain age. What's important about that in your view? Well, for too long, women of a certain age were relegated to a, a track suit and, and a, a wig hat and being sort of the object of much of the humor. Male stars might be 50 or 60 years old, but their girlfriends or their lovers, their wives were like, maybe 19 or 22. <laughs> Women were only acceptable, desirable if they were like that, and the whole society accepted it. So you're Nick's new wife? That's me. I'm the new wife too. Me too. The tenderness between the two of you throughout these last episodes just makes your heart explode. Oh, a couple of God, <laughs> you're gonna make me cry. There were moments, I um, mean, you know, I'll never forget, I had to lift Frankie's hair off her shoulder and <laughs> rearrange her, and so she had an exposed shoulder. I said, oh my God, your skin is, is so beautiful. I was thinking, how great to be able to say this on a show that's being shown around the world. Women loving on each other, it doesn't have to be sexual. We're not always fighting each other, and it, competing with each other it made me so happy that I could be in a show like that. Well, I was just sitting here thinking, I'm looking at her profile, you know, and it's so beautiful. With the the show finishing, I won't have her in the in the trailer next door to me. Well, I'm gonna miss her every day. I was kind of like losing her a little bit. So I have a physical uh, emptiness when she's not around. I, I miss her physically. It's, uh, I'm happy to say. I mean, it's really nice to love somebody that you spend so much time with. We are not done yet, and the best is yet to come. 
and that genuine affection for each other very much in evidence during Fr Grace and Frankie's last episodes. It's a worthy finale for this series. I'll have more of my conversation with Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda tonight on Nightline. And the final episodes of Grace and Frankie premiere tomorrow on Netflix, guys. It's quite a way to go. I will be tuning in as I have all seven seasons. And I know we're not so a relate shot. It's nice to have you right here in the studio. <laughs> You're right behind us. Nice, nice to be here. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Thank you, Chris, as always. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.